With 2024 right around the corner, I want to talk about some things that I want to see coming to Apex Legends in 2024. And the first thing I'm going to start off with is I want to see a fix of quality of life changes for a ton of issues we are currently having in the game. One being the audio, because once you spawn into the game inside of Apex Legends right now, the audio is super, super laggy to the point that everything is very, very delayed. You cannot hear a lot of things inside of the game, which this is a major issue, especially in the BR, which is heavily focused on hearing players' footsteps and hearing people walk around behind you. I've been in so many situations where I will literally have a team just walk directly up in front of me while they're running towards me, and I will not hear them until they're directly in front of my face. And we need a fix for that. We also need a fix to the servers, because right Right now the servers are super super laggy i think we need a higher tick rate for the servers and they need to adjust that because right now inside of apex legends if you play on a controller there is issues when you play with controller you deal with a input error issue which basically it doesn't register your inputs to the server and it causes the server to overall be extremely laggy to the point that you will shoot an enemy and your bullets won't register this is the issue that happens on a lot of people that play on controller inside of apex legends that's one of the things i want to see inside of the game we need visual cutters fixes as well and also moving on what i also want to see in 2024 is i want to see a brand new anti-cheat inside of apex legends because recently a lot of news has came out where a ton of top rank grinders and the top players inside of apex legends were caught cheating so we need to get a brand new anti-cheat inside of this game to stop a lot of people that are sitting there out there cheating inside of apex legends because it's just overall killing the game it's so bad to the point i don't even know who is not cheating inside of Apex Legends? Like, there were pro players that were playing in HLS that were cheating inside of this game. So, we need a brand new anti cheat for Apex Legends inside of 2024 and something that's a lot better than what we currently have right now. The next thing I want to see is I want to see an improvement to Rank BR. Rank BR has been in a shit show for the last three seasons. We need to make it so kills count more inside of Rank BR. And a lot of players need to stop sitting there ratting inside of Rank BR because currently, right now, with this current system that we have, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever for you to fight anybody before 10 squads because you can get a shit none of your kills and if you die with six seven eight kills and you're dying before 10 squads you're most likely only going to get maybe a plus six plus nine at max so we need to focus on making kills more inside of apex legends when it comes to rank br because increasing the overall incentives for kills will allow players to actually sit there and give them a reason to want to fight early game and fight more inside of apex legends instead of just sitting around camping and waiting for 10 squads and then fighting after 10 squads the next thing i want to see in 2024 for apex legends i want to see more rank game modes we only have rank br right now like we need rank duel we need ranked solos just we need solos in general we need ranked arenas back in the game i feel like when respawn entertainment took out ranked arenas it was a step back when it comes to the overall competitive game modes for apex legends like ranked arenas was such a very unique game mode that allowed for so much variation in different aspects when it comes to just playing apex legends and it had an own uniqueness and it taught players how to fight a regular 3v3 fight because currently right now inside of ranked br i will get master players when i'm solo queuing or dual queuing that just have no idea how to fight a 3v3 fight and that's where ranked arenas came in and taught players those fundamentals of how to fight the basic 3v3 fight overall ranked arenas was very good for viewership i feel like it was constant fighting you weren't just watching people sit around and rat until 10 squads in order to sit there and get into a gun engagement so they don't take a negative ranked arenas was very fun it just was something different from players that wanted to sit there and just grind ranked br all day and then whenever that get boring they just swapped over to ranked arenas and we just need something more like that where you could have went to the route where you could have been ranked arena is 3v3 ranked arena duels ranked arena solos and that would have just been such a very unique dope game mode because currently right now we have the mixtape playlist and that shit is ass we need like a ranked team deathmatch we just need more ranked game modes and we need that the rank rewards inside of apex legends for these ranked game modes they need to be innovative on they need to be something different than just a banner frame in a badge i know you guys remove the damn trial the trails that you get when you got in rank mode for reaching a certain rank and then you started to sell them inside of a pack for like the lower prestige can like you guys gotta innovate we need more things for rank like i feel like add grandmaster when it comes to rank so you can have more people being in grandmasters or something above just being masters and then we're going to pray like we need innovation to those type of rank aspects inside of the game I'm just throwing ideas out there so something respawn maybe could take on and just expand upon and add to the game moving forward get rid of the mixtape playlist make it so players have the ability to pick and choose whenever they want to play a game but instead of waiting for an extended period of time in order for a game mode to come up for them to be able to play it for example if i want to only play team deathmatch i should have the ability to be able to select and only play team deathmatch like you can do in other multiplayer shooter games out there if you only want to play gun game you should have the ability to select to only play gun game if you only want to play control you should have the ability to only be able to want to select to play
play control. You guys need to bring back LTMs and make them permanent, like three strikes. Allow players to be able to send in that game mode and pick and choose and play that game mode whenever they want. I don't know why Respawn has it in their mind that if they make three strikes a permanent game mode, it's just going to kill regular BR. Not everybody out there likes the three strikes game mode, so they're still going to play regular BR. This goes for a lot of LTMs that you guys have sitting in the vault. Now, everybody likes playing those LTMs, so they're just going to play regular BR. If you guys bring back arenas, they'll just play regular arenas. I want to see way less collection events in 2024 because all you guys did, Respawn, in 2023 was just bombard us with collection events, and most of the collection events you guys brought out were not that good, or you guys were constantly just selling us reskins and recolors of the same old fucking shit and skins and cosmetics that we had for the last four years going on five years now. You guys need to start innovating on that. Stop bringing out collection events and being greedy. Focus on improving the game and making it better for your players because you guys sat there and focused on being greedy and look at the current state that it led to Apex Legends right now. In 2024, I don't want to see any new legends inside of this game. We have enough legends as it is. I feel like it is getting to the point where you guys are just sitting there taking kits from other legends and then mashing them together in order to create a brand new legend and kit. Like that is just getting to the point where it's just becoming lackluster. Like you have so many characters inside of this game that are just not being played and have low pick rates because their legends kits are just not as viable compared to other characters inside of this game. Go back and rework some of your legends and make them more viable. We don't need new characters that take kits and things from other characters for example like Newcastle has lifeline shield like we don't need that type of shit inside of apex legends like you need to rework these characters how you rework revenant there's ways that for example you can make wraith better because wraith right now is not as good as she used to be when the game first came out you guys said you buffed her passive but her passive does absolutely nothing wraith should have the ability to jump into her portal while she's in phase wraith should have the ability to not be able to throw up the damn ninja jutsu sign in order to go to phase Rafe should not have a particle effect that is tracked behind her body that she can be traced by enemy players when she's going into phase. Those are just things and ideas of how you can rework legends inside of this game instead of just constantly bringing out new legends because like I said, the last two legends we got have been lackluster. They're not that good. The next thing I want to see for Apex Legends in 2024 is I want you guys to find a way for us to be able to use legends tokens and make them more valuable. Currently right now, I am sitting on close to over a million legends tokens and I can do absolutely nothing with these legend tokens because I have every character in the game and the only other thing I can do is buy a recolor of a skin that I already have. Those legend tokens right now are currently useless. You guys need to innovate on legend tokens and find ways that they can become more viable to players inside of Apex Legends in 2024. We also should have the ability to go into the firing range while we are queuing up for games inside of Apex Legends in 2024. There has been multiple times where I will be sitting in a queue for a good Good. 10 maybe 15 minutes and not get a game i should be able to sit there to go into the range and just shoot my gun and do things while i wait for the match to load up and then the final thing i want to add what i want to see in 2024 is you guys need to get rid of the hidden mmr system inside of rank br and you guys also need to get rid of promotional trials as well as when it comes to regular pubs you guys need to get rid of the svm inside of regular pubs there should not be svm inside of regular pubs just let pubs play out how it wants to play because a lot of players that are super casual inside of this game are constantly complaining about the SVM inside of pubs when it comes to Apex Legends. Remove that and make it a lot more funner for your casual players and start adding more casual core game modes for the super casual players out there that are not really, really good inside of Apex Legends Now, really, really want to take the game serious. But these are just some of the things I want to see in Apex Legends in 2024. If you have any thoughts or ideas you want to see for Apex Legends inside of 2024, let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like like button subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one